Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to an unboxing video. Today, I've got the Samson Meteor microphone for us to unbox together. So Samson was kind enough to send me this microphone to compare against my Blue Snowball microphone that I've been using for the last two and a half years. Both of these microphones are basically the entry-level USB microphone into uh, recording audio of, of any sort, really, whether it be music or, or audio or voice or whatever you have. So today we're gonna to unbox this video and Samson is gonna be doing a giveaway for the same Meteor microphone on their main Twitter channel. I'll have more information about that at the end of the video and down below in the video description if you do wanna check those out. So I guess let's get into this. We're gonna unbox this thing and see what we've got. And then I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna do a, a little bit of a reading comparing the two microphones together. So we'll see how it goes. So I got my, my handy dandy knife. This is actually a family heirloom. Surprisingly, that's what I get family heirloom. I get a, a giant cleaver that was handmade and probably used for cleaving We're gonna unbox these again with uh, like four little four little uh, Plastic things on the back. I don't know if that's backwards or not. I might have to flip the video Anyway, it comes in a nice little box. It's maybe I don't know six by five inches or seven by five And we'll take the top off and what do we have inside? Ooh, look at that Put that down here. Oh, well, that's kind of nice kind of tinier than I thought it was going to be. Cool. And then it has like little four little legs on it that you can, or three little legs that you can fold down. Look at that. It's kind of fancy. I like the way it looks. Nice and shiny compared to the giant snowball that I have. The two right next to each other and it's like a third of the size. So this is just a sphere. And what else do we have? Looks like we've got a USB cord. Let's put this up. Here, USB cord. Oh yeah. There's a little USB cord. I'll put that over here. I guess that hooks right into the back. Yep, definitely. There's a little area for it to hook in and microphone placement right inside. And it looks like it's got a gain little dial on the front of it. it kind of feels, it's metal. It's made out of metal, but this dial is plastic, it feels like. And it has a, like a little carrying case too. That's kind of neat. All right. So there was one other thing that I noticed about this that I didn't see on the first time I looked at it. On the bottom, there is a little uh, screw hole that you can use to mount up into your uh, your microphone stand or, or some other sort of stand. And then you just close these down, close the legs down, and you'd have it like that hanging from your, your microphone stand. So in my case, it would just hang down like that. A lot smaller. I, I kind of like the size of it. So let's go see how it sounds. So I guess I'm going to plug this thing in and we'll bring it to my desktop and we'll do a little bit of talking once we get both of these hooked up. All right, guys. So here's the deal. I've got my Meteor microphone here and the blue snowball right here. This is the typical position that I keep the blue snowball in when I'm recording. I usually look at the screen right like this and the blue snowball is right here in the position. Uh, the Meteor is going to be down a little bit below. I'm not going to be speaking directly into it like I, like I typically would if it would be up on um, a stand. But uh, I feel like this is a good enough spot for right now for the equipment that I have to lift it up. And we're gonna see how it goes in between. It was a really easy setup. I just plugged it in and it, it took right off. So uh, nothing fancy with that. I'm assuming you could do a mixer if you wanted to or all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, so I guess let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna be reading the, the Lorax or a couple pages by Dr. Seuss and we'll see how that goes. Also, uh, Samson wants to do a giveaway on this, and after this video is posted, you can see down below in the video description is a link to their Twitter page, and if possible, this is what they said, if possible, we would just ask viewers to follow at Samson Tech on Twitter and tweet their favorite game at our account. So that's pretty simple, and that is uh, twitter.com slash Samson, S-A-M-S-O-N Tech, and then, um, that would be what they're going to do. They're going to try to do it as quickly as possible. So about a day after this video goes up, a day or two, they'll be doing the giveaway from the from the entries that you guys posted. So I guess let's get to this, and we're going to see how these sound together. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how it sounds, because um, I've been looking around for new microphones for a while, because entry-level microphones, and now we're a little bigger than entry-level uh, quality, I feel. Or we could, we could upgrade our quality. So let's see how this goes. And this is the Lorax by Dr. Seuss. At the far end of town, where Gricklegrass grows, and the wind smells slow and sour when it blows, and no birds ever sing excepting old crows, is the street of the lifted Lorax. And deep in the Gricklegrass, some people say, if you look deep enough, you can still see today where the Lorax once stood. 
just as long as it could before somebody lifted the Lorax away. What was the Lorax and why was it there? And why was it lifted and taken somewhere? Far from the end of town where Gurkha grass grows, the, once, the old Onceler still lives here. Ask him, he knows. You won't see the Onceler, don't knock at his door. He stays in his lurkum on top of his store. He lurks in his lurkum, cold under the roof, where he makes his own clothes out of Miff Mufford Moof. And on special dank night midnights in August he peeks, out of the shutters and sometimes he speaks, and tells how the Lorax was lifted away. He'll tell you, perhaps, if you're willing to pay. On the end of a rope he lets down a tin pail, and you have to toss in fifteen cents in a nail, and the shell of a great, great, great grandfather snail. Then he pulls up the pail, makes the most careful count to see if you paid him the proper amount. Then he hides what you've paid him away in his snoove, his secret strange hole in his grooveless glove. And he grunts, I will call you by whisper my phone, for the secrets I tell you are for your ears alone. Slurp! Down slurps the whisper phone down to your ear, and the old onceler whispers are not very clear. Once you have come down through a sneerly hose, and he sounds, if he had, smallish bees up his nose. Now I'll tell you, he says, with his tongue sounding gray, how the Lorax got lifted and taken away. So guys, I, I guess that's kind of going to do it for this video, uh, for the unboxing. If you do have any questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. Definitely check out Samson on Twitter, and I, I do thank them for sending me this microphone. Uh, so th guys, thank you very much, and we're going to see how this sounds. I'm, I'm excited to look at it and, and see how it goes. So thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.